The Angelical Language by Aaron Leach, Volumes 1 and 2, published by Llewellyn. So here we have Volume 1, The Complete History and Mythos of the Tongue of Angels, based on the journals of, jo of Dr. John Dee and Edward Kelly. And here we've got Volume 2, An Encyclopedic Lexicon of the Tongue of Angels, which is a significantly larger book, right? Um, I'll show you the contents in a few moments and I'll talk about what these wonderful books are about. First of all, let's talk a little bit about the the form, uh, since I've got the books closed, <laughs> we can actually look at what they what they look like. I don't mind um, uh, dust covers as a rule. Uh, when they're particularly well done, I really like them a lot. Uh, but when they're badly done, then obviously I don't like them at all. But in this case, they're really nice. Um, but uh, yeah, if you were to place both books one next to the other on the shelf, you'll see what they look like right here. Uh, they're congruent, right? Um, uh, the two pictures of two different sizes, I suppose it makes sense since the two books are of different sizes. Uh, but the, you know, the, the font is clearly congruent. They clearly look like they belong to the same collection, which is, uh, which is fine by me. And then we've got this really nice complementary colors this kind of ochre, yellowy brown over here. And then the, um, uh, the this kind of, um, uh, earthy blue is that is that a thing is <laughs> i'm not sure but anyway uh, i like the colors on both i like the um uh, the the design decisions uh, that have been made in both cases but then if you take off those um those dust covers i don't mind this i think this is quite nice uh okay so the the book itself is bound in just in card with this uh, paper uh, covering which works perfectly fine. Ultimately, we'll, we are looking at mass market books here. Uh, we're not looking at finely bound books, but they are Smithsonian, uh, and you know you can see the individual signatures there, which is uh, uh, which is quite impressive for books uh, that have been. Well, books at this price range, first of all, and then, um, yeah, yeah, mass market books, essentially. Uh, yeah, in terms of, uh, yeah, well, in terms of the the, uh, the the layout here, of course, I would normally say that this probably needs to be dropped down by a couple of inches, but uh, uh, it looks so much like uh, one of John Dee's uh, manuscripts, you know, with, with <laughs> starting at the very, very top and then realizing, oh, we could have done it a little bit lower. Uh, you know, they didn't have uh, um, uh, InDesign or whatever <laughs> um, uh, to, 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 to try things out at the time. So yeah, I, I don't mind that. Um, uh, it's not that I don't mind it. I think it's actually quite nice, this, uh, this design decision. All in all, pretty, pretty nice. And uh, yeah, if I, if I just bring this book next to the first one, um, you can see what they look like next to each other without their dust cover on. Right, so that's probably enough about the form of the book. Let's talk a little bit about the contents. Um, wow, what an achievement. Um, these books have been out for a little while and, you know, I've been hesitating to review them. Uh, they're, first of all, they're, they're, they're an enormous endeavour, um, but uh, endeavour from the author, uh, not endeavour from the reader's perspective. They are a joy to read, at least this one is. This is essentially a dictionary and I'll talk about that in a moment. But it's been written in such an engaging, such a, uh, a pleasant way. I, I'm, I, I thank you, thank you Aaron Leach for making this very, very meaty subject so accessible. Uh, I'm a uh, I'm I'm a fan of what he's done here. Uh, so this first book over here really is a study of a study of uh, the advent of the Enochian language. Okay, all the way from uh, the very beginning, uh, talking about the books of Enoch, um, the way there's the books of Enoch that have been written on paper, uh, and how the how they are different from the actual Book of Enoch, which is eternal and so on and so forth. And then going into the lives of uh, John Dee and Edward Kelly and, um, uh, and, and of course, going into the minutiae of um, 
some of the weirdnesses <laughs> that that appear in John Dee's work uh, and you know that you, if you know anything about John Dee you know that there's plenty and it's so juicy it's so um, uh, rewarding and and yeah and, and Aaron Leach really makes it feel it makes you feel clever <laughs> you know um, it's it, it's like it's like reading a really good um, a detective novel <laughs> where where the author is um, is keeping you guessing and um, uh, it's 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 beautiful it's absolutely absolutely beautiful so that's the experience of reading it but the contents of what he's writing here has been so thoroughly researched it's it's great it's absolutely great and and we we get so much Right at the end of it, of it here, we get uh, a, a full uh, Enochian Psalter with uh, you know with the 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 the, the forty nine calls to the ethers to the ethers I beg your pardon uh, with the English on the left hand side over here and the Enochian on the right uh, along uh, along with its uh, pronunciation underneath each line. Absolutely fantastic. Um, the the amount of work that has been put into this not just from a, an academic perspective, but also from the perspective of making it accessible to the reader is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Yeah, great, great stuff. And then, so, so that's, <laughs> that's just for starters, right? Uh, the, the whole history of the language. Uh, the re he, he writes in the introduction that the reason he wrote all of this is so that we can understand why what's in here is the way it is right so um, uh, in this second book he talks a little bit about the grammar of Enochian about the linguistics themselves right and then he gives us the 48 keys uh, which were given to John Dee and which he wrote down twice apparently uh, with slight differences between between the versions uh, uh, Aaron Leach uh, suggests that the second version may have certain errors corrected basically um, and uh, and yeah and you can see that these keys are basically uh, well they, they have reference numbers for, for each word and then you have the uh, the Enochian words themselves and then the English translation and then the literal meaning of the word right because when you're translating you don't necessarily um, uh, make uh, well if you make a literal translation it doesn't it doesn't uh, sound as <laughs> as meaningful as if you actually translate the meaning right so um, uh, so uh, as, as a as an example um, you know in this in the context of this sentence uh, hubayo uh, means the lanterns of but the word hubayo really means lanterns and you you can find that word uh, in, in in other contexts okay and then the rest of the book here is is the lexicon itself so let me show you the lexicon uh, you have the Enochian entry alongside its pronunciation uh, then you have the English translation and then you have the Enochian in its own letters. Uh, here you have it in context uh, with the uh, reference number of the key. So you can look up 1112 and you can see it in the context of the sentence in which that word was given. And then underneath that you very often, not always, but very often have pronunciation notes, right? Dep sometimes uh, John Dee gives several different pronunciations and you'll, you'll get those details over here. Uh, you'll get a note. Um, uh, let me find a, 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 maybe an, an, an entry with, oh yeah, here we go. So uh, you have this also, so you can look up this word as well and you'll see that it's uh, it's it's related right it's related because it's about speaking in this case uh, here also um, uh, mighty yeah so it's very mighty so it's a it's a different different word uh, however it seems to have maybe possibly similar similar roots and, and things like this right so you 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 have um, uh, 
you have uh, plenty of material to continue researching and then uh, then you can compare it uh, with uh, well in some instances you've got this compare from Loa Gaeth uh, so uh, you, you can look the, the word up in the, the book of Loa Gaeth uh, of John D uh, trying to see if there are any entries with um, yeah, possible shared roots over here sometimes you have compounds as well let me find all oh, here for example okay so here you have um, uh, the situations in which the word is used as a compound so here is the word where you can find the word coasio uh, or uh, coasio i beg your pardon arcoasio uh, so this is another word uh, that you can look up right arcoasio in which the word coasior is included. So lots and lots of little details like this. As I, can, I, as I say, it's very, very highly detailed. Um, Aaron Leach actually writes at the beginning of, of this book that yeah, several other people have attempted this in the past. However, um, uh, he has, he's, he's significantly updated. Um, he's, he's certainly taken inspiration from those people's works and he, um, uh, he, he uh, uh, credits them certainly. Um, but he has found many inconsistencies where, the, for example, the, one of the uh, previous authors um, uh, didn't notice that when uh, a, a word ends with a letter and the next word begins with the same letter, uh, those words are, um, uh, when those words are compounded, uh, the, 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 that letter is, uh, those two letters are turned into a single letter and things like this. Uh, so, so there are mathematical errors uh, that can result if you're using the words um, uh, in, for, I don't know, uh, I'm speculating here for uh, gematria purposes and, and, and so on and so forth. Um, generally, I'm just going to say that this is a, a work of tremendous proportions and I think that if you're interested not just in Enochian but in, uh, in angels at all, you will find the first book absolutely fascinating. I think that if you are interested in working with angels, you will find the second book of tremendous use. Um, uh, being able to construct your own sentences in Enochian, I mean, how powerful is that? Of course it is. Um, uh, so, so yeah, that's, uh, that's my overview of the Angelical Language by Aaron Leach. Uh, please do consider using the, um, the, 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 uh, uh, the links that are down in the description. I, uh, they are Amazon associate links. I get a small commission if uh, you actually click on those links and go all the way through to purchasing uh, the books. Um, uh, don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the review and uh, subscribe down below. Have you heard of these books? Let me know down in the comments also. Maybe you have heard of these books, maybe you've had experience with these books. Um, uh, if, if you have, do, do remember to, uh, to let me know about what your impressions of these books were. Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to wish you a splendid morning, afternoon or evening, uh, wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you very soon with another video. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.